Why, hello again. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Destiny of an Emperor. Uh, we have a few things going on here. One of them is that I picked up a... Yeah, I went back and got Labo. But I picked up a Zhang Zun on, a, on my way here. So I picked him up, he was like, yes. So I replaced uh, Labo with him. Yeah. Um... Yeah, nothing really new happened on the way back. Oh, didn't want to check in. And... No, that's about it. Nothing really new. Let's uh, check this place out. Huan Huai Nan Castle. Yep, and Zalyun is a tiger. But we're not going to get him for a little while. That's why I didn't really say much about him. There's a young lady around here. Okay. It's a secret to everyone. Okay, I don't need food. That's not a secret, obviously. Yes. Okay. Nope. Not over here. Hi, lady. Okay. If once we uh, actually get over to Nanyang, that's what we'll do. And yeah. I'll just save it real quick so I know exactly how much this person needs. 515. I will actually have that pretty soon because uh, my goals for this episode is uh, to take on uh, another encampment coming up, uh, talk to a few other people, and explore a cave that has some pretty good weapons and armor in there, so I'm going to go there. But let's take out this encampment. And as you can see, our... Uh, Help bar, soldier bars, actually change color. They start doing that at certain levels when it looks like your bar is going to touch their bar, basically. They don't like bars touching. Yeah, uh, I'm done with that pretty quick. No, Hang Zian, or whatever. 114, eh, nothing special. Anything, nothing special. Uh, just burn them out. I'll use water. Why not? Yeah, there's really not a whole lot else going on right now. I'm just going to burn them out. Or, well, flood them out. 214, nice. And 117, eh, that ain't bad. Uh, <laughs> this is, that's basically my strategy for a while, just do stuff like that. Yeah, why not? I get Guan Ping in it. He's. Okay, usually I wouldn't uh, use it with him, but they have low enough intellect, and I'm going to go spend the night after this fight anyways. Hmm, yeah, I'm just going all out from here. These guys are easy enough. Yeah, because now we got armor, so we're not taking too much damage for them. Usually I would actually wait until, like, maybe halfway through the next chapter, because that's where I could buy some more armor. Then get the, the some really good weapons, but after I checked it on uh, Game Facts, it was a better idea to just buy a buy padded Chen Chang. I will hold you to that. Hmm, lies, lies and slander. Okay. I now have a letter. Is it the letter P? No. This intro, let R. And here we go. Spear. Eh, of course, you have to Zhang Fei. Oh, and I did give everyone a elixir. P? Because the cave I'm going through, just in case. Okay, uh, club has 30 AP. Spear has 50, so cool. Zang Fei's gonna do a lot more damage. Yeah, he. Well, I'll show it off here. Let's see. 4 and 9, yeah, we're doing some pretty good damage with our clubs. 201. Okay. Apparently he's going to be doing closer to 100. 
but wow. <laughs> I was not uh, expecting that. Yeah, one more time just to see. <laughs> 53? Good. Yeah, 101. Because uh, Zhang Fei is like uh, the second strongest character in the game. I'm always going to give him priority on weapons, as you see. Because he was doing around maybe 60 ish with the club. Now he's doing a uh, 100 with the spear. Yeah, he does a lot of damage. But uh, where am I supposed to take this letter? Well, I should have done this earlier to explore a little bit, but if you go over this way, across, okay, going across the really big mountains, as you see here, as you see here, we will actually go find a little house. Hi. Yeah, if you didn't have the letter, I should have shown that earlier. She'd be like, excuse me, but we're not accepting visitors. Maybe he'll join us. Zhu Yanzi. That's probably the guy we were talking to earlier in that camp. Then the guy said there's no one else in there. Fu Long or Feng Chu. No one can stand against you. Okay. Yeah, I'm not familiar with those names they gave, but hey. If, when we get them, they should be good. But we're just going to go this way for now, because uh, they said that we could attack the west gate. That's what they're talking about over there on the left. And there's Nanyang. I'm not going there. I'm going in the cave. Yeah, there's a bunch of good stuff in here. I don't have it memorized. I don't have all this stuff, but for the most part, any path you take will lead you to a treasure. Yeah, for the most part here... Oh, look, three chests up there. But for the most part, when I'm fighting uh, battles here and I'm fighting uh, five rebel forces, like the one I was just at, I'm getting around 40. 40 experience. Oh, ah. Okay, check. Hey, a cap. Yeah, get a headpiece. Yeah, get a design fay. Yeah, it wasn't required to get elixirs uh, for this, but. Yeah, it's not required to get elixirs, but. I figured just in case, because there have been times when, because of the finicky battle the mechanics, well, not battle mechanics, but uh, the what would you call it? Encounter rate? Sometimes it gets so bad. But uh, I did get a level, and we learned Yan Ri. It is a very good spell to have. It basically does Yi Ho on the entire party. It, I've seen it range from 75 to 300. It is very good use, especially in the upcoming areas. I thought I picked up that chest. Oh, should have shown this off. Yeah, uh, but went uh, 588 and 540 troops. But um, okay, this is that is very odd. That has not happened before. I've, I've had it before where I've gotten empty chests, but I'm getting battles like crazy. Okay, got a third cap. I'm usually only going to have two. Give it Guan Ping. I'm not really caring much for uh, Zhang Zhu, even though he is hit almost as hard. But uh, the reason is, is uh, I will drop Zhang Zhu first. Oh, power pill. This is one of... Yeah, I will explain that, but... Yeah, just a refresher. It automatically does a critical hit. Good to have. This was awesome. So, uh... Oh, look. Han Zeng. Gonna drop him, then I'm going to heal up real quick. But, uh... The main reason that, uh... I didn't buy armor is because I would usually wait up until this point. But, uh... Well, because I'd pick up some robes and caps, have a little bit of armor before I go and buy it, but oh well. Not really. Yeah. You could if you really wanted to. <laughs> buy it earlier. And I'd usually wait till now, but hey. I buy it here. 
Well, I buy padded then, and I just pick up some stuff here. I have some armor and some stuff to sell. Because the next armor is called Ring Mail, if I remember right. Overall, I'm not too worried about it. Let's see. Yeah, just take him out. Then I'm just going to use Tongzian on my entire party. Oh, come on. Yeah, Sang the only one who's not going to heal himself, so... He's okay on troops. Yeah, just in case. Have them heal. And Tong Zan costs 5. Yep. Gives around 500. Is what I would figure. Yeah. I could, uh... Use my elixirs, but... But, you know, they could be worth more... Eh, uh, these to from... Blah, blah, blah. Words are hard. <laughs> No, I don't want you. You're worth more than me out there. But, uh... The elixirs are... They're still good in the next area. And you, you'll probably you'll see why in the next few episodes, but... For the most part, I will I'll use up my magic first. Because we're doing enough physical damage where I'm okay. I'm comfortable just... Not using magic if it uh, even has generals in it. Just because I'm tired of editing for a while, I'll show this one in. But look how fast we're dropping them, and it's just rebel forces. We are a pretty good machine right now, just destroying everything. Ooh. Yeah, Guanping. As I said, he's going to be just about always attacking. Yeah, well, Zhangfei will do about maybe a hundred on the uh, Nether Spear. Ah, sorry, Zhang Zhang, but no, <laughs> it's not for you. Hey, Zhang Zhang's going to be my lowest priority. Lu Peng will get the next one. Check out the rest of this cave real quick. I think those top two chests are the only thing left. Yeah, I don't have everything memorized. Just a good amount. <laughs> yeah, part of the reason why I care, care I guess I care about elixirs for going in here. Random encounters are a lot. <laughs> and I've gone through a lot of my tactic points. Oh! Okay, Lu Feng. <laughs> I was not aware. Well, I forgot he had it. Yeah. You can equip this one. Yeah, I think that's all of it, so I'm just going to uh, go back to town, save it, then I'll decide if I want to continue on. So, we'll be right back. Well, apparently I was wrong. There are some other uh, items in here. I'm going to show them to you. Uh, I went back and spent the night and whatnot because we were running. We actually ran out of uh, tactic points and we were all around 200 soldiers. So, it's going to do to go back. I made it to about here when uh, I ran out of supplies. I was like, yeah, I'll just go back. Mm, so, yeah. Sometimes you'll just want to make multiple trips. Just in case. Because while I'm pretty sure I could just uh, power my way through like I did right here, and I have elixirs. Eh. Oh well. So it's not like it's hurting anything. I'm still getting experience and gold. I'm running, starting to get a little lower on rations than I'd like. But we are uh, going to be attacking some uh, gates and castles soon. Yeah, the enemy encounter rate is going crazy on me right now. Okay, 1535 gold. So yeah, what I plan on doing is I'm just going to uh, go back on my own time, 
spend the night, save it, see how close I am to a level, and once I get that, if I am close to a level, I'll just gain the level and let you know about it. Then we'll go attack uh, Nanyang, take out those two gates that I showed you earlier. So thank you for joining me today. Y'all have a nice day.